Hi guys, I'm Nick from the Current Labs team and today I'm going to show you our newest feature in Unreal Engine 4, Live Game Views. The Live Game Views uh, are basically a high performance way to transfer image data rendered from the game engine into a, your UI. So in this little demo, I'm going to create an AI character that is going to follow the player and we're going to render a small rectangle, uh, rectangle in the heads-up display that's going to show us uh, everything that uh, the AI sees. So let's start with creating the HUD. So uh, this is uh, the Blueprint third-person template and I've already set up coherent UI, the Coherent UI plugin. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a new game mode using the World Settings tab. I'm going to save it in the unsorted uh, folder and I'm going to name it my game mode. So in this game mode I'm going to use the my character as uh, the default pawn class and I'm going to create a new blueprint that is going to have a parent class the coherent UI game hut which is needed uh, for creating uh, game heads up uh, displays through blueprints. I'm creating a blueprint for this because uh, if I want to uh, add a live view I need to add a component uh, to an actor and uh, using a blueprint is uh, maybe the easiest way. So I'm going to name this my hut and I'm going to select it here. So now in this game mode I have the hut class set to my hut. If we hit we're going to see the same thing as previously, which is fine. So, let's open the level blueprint and start adding nodes. I'm going to start with the begin play. And uh, add the get player controller. Get hot. And I'm going to cast the hut to my hut. Since we changed that in the world settings, this is not going to fail. And I don't care about this pin. And as a next step, I'm going to set up the UI view. So let's make the coherent UI, coherent UI view info. I'm going to use a uh, width of uh, 1280 by uh, 720 and I'm going to expand this and make this transparent. For the page URL I'm using a local resource call UI, UI resources, HUD, HUD HTML. This is the HUD HTML that comes with our uh, call UI FPS test sample in the package. It's just a little modified and I'm going to show it to you right now. So here's the file. The modifications are uh, very few. Basically this is all that I added. So in the HTML part this is a div which uh, is a container of a canvas object and I also have a script which uh, registers this callback when the document is ready. This uh, callback on engine image data updated uh, is uh, very important for the live view and is called every time the image data is updated from the engine. So anytime the texture is sent from the game to the UI, this callback is executed. So this callback has uh, two arguments. The first is the name of the live view link. So if you have uh, multiple live views in your page, then uh, you can switch on the name and uh, do your logic depending on the name. And uh, the image argument is uh, an image data object. So in this uh, simple example what I'm doing is uh, just getting the data from the image data the pixel data I'm changing the alpha channel to about 50% transparency then clearing the whole canvas putting the image data uh, in the top left corner and uh, just for fun I'm uh, rendering some text on top of everything and I've also added uh, these uh, CSS rules which are going to add some perspective transformation to the canvas. So right now we don't have uh, the live view attached 
and what we expect to see is uh, the HUD uh, that, that we have and uh, an empty rectangle for the canvas because it's not drawing anything so let's hit play and there's our rectangle with the perspective transformation okay so now we're going to start adding our AI let's go to the blueprints folder and copy my character into the unsorted folder now I'm going to rename that to follow AI I'm using the my character blueprint because it has uh, already has set up uh, animations and all kinds of useful things so what you want to do is uh, create a render target that is going to be attached uh, to the AI and it's going to render everything that it sees so to do that uh, I'm going to create a new render target I'm going to call it follow AI underscore RT and I'm going to uh, make the character render into this texture when in, uh, it's moving well basically every frame so there is one more important thing that we need to do uh, currently the live views don't support uh, floating point textures texture from formats so I'm going to disable HDR on this texture and it's going to be a non-floating point uh, format. I'm also going to change the resolution to match the one that uh, we set up in the HTML file as you can see it's uh, right here and I'm matching it with this texture so uh, it covers the whole canvas okay let's edit the follow a blueprint now in the graph section we're going to delete everything because uh, we don't need it it's related to the input but uh, the AI is going to be driven by itself so we don't need any input and right here in the components tab I'm going to add a scene capture 2D component and uh, the only thing that I'm going to set up here in the scene capture is the texture target which is going to be follow AI RT so let's save and compile this and I'm going to place our AI somewhere in this corner and I'm going to rotate it so it faces the player so we have our AI setup it renders to this uh, texture and now we need to edit the my hot blueprint and just uh, add a coherent UI live view component which has uh, very few properties. This is the link name, which is going to be passed to the on engine and on engine image data updated function uh, in the name parameter. Uh, the next um, option is to update every frame. This uh, dictates whether the texture is going to be sent every frame, or uh, if not, then uh, you're going to do that manually, either by code or by a blueprint. In this demo we're just going to update it every frame and uh, the texture that uh, is going to be sent so I'm going to select the follow AI RT and select it now let's just save and compile again and what we expect to see is uh, the canvas filled with uh, what the AI sees and there it is there's also our text and as you can see in the distance the player is moving and the AI sees it so that's it that's how easy it is to set up a live view and as a finishing touch I'm going to make the AI move and it's going to chase our player so this is very easy to do to start I'm just going to need a navigation mesh and I need to make it a bit larger maybe not that large but that's no problem and to update it to update the visual the visualization I need to move it a bit and this is uh, some issue with uh, Unreal uh, you can toggle the nav mesh visualization by pressing the P key so now we have a nav mesh 
and we need to edit the blueprint so our AI chases the player I'm just going to attach the AI move to node after the setup of the UI view and now I'm gonna select the AI add a reference to it use it as a pawn in the AI move to node and the target actor is going to be the player controller. The collision capsule of the player controller is larger than is larger than the acceptance radius, so um, the AI is never going to complete this goal and is going to chase uh, to chase the player infinitely. So okay, save and compile, and let's see what happens. And there it is. You can see the AI's hands and legs and there we trick the AI <laughs> so that's the presentation of our feature I hope you like it and uh, let us know uh, what other uses can you think of for the live views we're thinking about uh, minimaps, character portraits and maybe many more let us know what you're going to use it for. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.